What's up gamers, it's me, NobleZen, back again in another video. Today I wanted to go over like a beginner's guide slash tips and tricks for the finals. It's a super hectic game, so I wanted to throw out some basic tips for people that feel lost in the game right now. And a couple of cool gadgets or whatnot movements you can do, I guess you could call it. But yeah, without further ado, let's hop straight into it. So off the rip, the most important thing to understand is this is a team shooter game. Uh, so I'm going to go over like the classes and basic strategies for each class. But if you take nothing else, it's a team shooter game. It's not like Warzone or uh, I'm trying to think of another one, PUBG or whatever, where you can go off on your own and just kind of dominate and win for your team. If you're not sticking with your team, you're going to lose, especially because there is no team deathmatch team deathmatch based game mode right now. It's all objective based game modes. So you definitely got to stick with your team. But uh, going over the roles of the specialist, I'm going to start with light. Light are very squishy, but they're very high damage and they're very gadget dependent meaning their gadgets will make or break a fight so the light you want to be sneaking in taking pop shots and sneaking out you're kind of the main damage dealer of your team assuming your team's a light medium and heavy the lights role is the main damage slash scout you can move faster than your whole team so you can get in there get information get back to your team and then push in with them and flank their assault essentially and when i say gadget dependent they have so many good gadgets first off their specialization you got cloak which i think is probably the strongest right now it's probably going to get nerfed eventually because it's a little too strong, but Cloak is really good than visibility. They got the grapple hook just for making massive movements. They can really cross the map really quick if they need to. And I don't even remember the other specialization because why would you use anything other than Cloak? It's really fucking good. Just use that right now. But with their gadgets, you got the glitch grenade, which should always be on cooldown pretty much. You should instantly be throwing it into any fight you see because it destroys the heavy shields, which are really annoying to deal with. Destroys the mediums uh, like landmines and turret thing and all that really fucking good you should always be using that on top of that you also have the goo grenade just for making obstacles to slow down the enemy if you're defending or if you're running away because you are light and you have the lowest health you have a wall you can throw at your feet and by the time it pops you already be past it so that's really strong too and then they got the pyro grenades the fire grenades clear out any smoke in the objective clear out any goos that are in the way of the objective so that's pretty strong they got the gas themselves really good for defending if your last man up on the point, you can throw the gas on the point to slow down the them capturing it while you go to revive your teammates. So they're very, very uh, gadget dependent. They don't have like any mandatory gadgets because they're all so good. If there was one mandatory gadget, I would say it's a glitch grenade just for destroying the heavy shields because those get real obnoxious when defending a point. When you're attacking a point and the enemy team is defending with the shields. So a glitch grenade is really, really good for that. Next up, we'll go over medium. They're more of the medic. They have assault rifles, so they got like the medium range down pretty good. They can do close range if necessary and even long range if they need to. They're kind of the all-arounders, but their base role is the medic. Uh, for gadgets, defib is a must. You can kind of run whatever you want for the other two, but there's no reason not to run a defib. It's an instant revive. It helps you keep your team in the fight, especially if your light dies because you push too far up or whatever. It gets them right back up. Or even if your heavy goes down because the enemy team targeted him, you can get him back up and get those shields back in the fight instantly. So the defib is definitely mandatory. For specializations, you got the turret, which can be strong if you use it smart, if that makes sense. If you put it in a cheeky angle where it can shoot the point to keep the objectors off of it, or the attackers off of the objective, or you can kind of just throw it out in the middle of nowhere, and then that's not the smartest thing. And on top of that, the heal gun, that one is also very, very strong. If you have a teammate, if you're attacking the objective and your teammate is trying to convert it, you can just spam the heal gun on him and he won't die, especially if it's a heavy you'll be able to keep him up until he's finishing capturing that objective. So for him, the defib is definitely mandatory. Specialization is kind of whatever you want and the rest of the gadgets or whatever. He has landmines, which are really strong for defense, especially the poison landmines that are really fucking obnoxious to deal with. So maybe run the landmines too, but definitely at least the defib. Next up, last but not least, we got the heavy. His main role is a sort of like the tank if you play RPGs. He has a million different shields. He has a bunch of health. His guns don't do massive damage, but they have a really big magazine. So you can just kind of suppress the enemies while your lights are flanking and getting the kills and your mediums are just kind of supporting however they support. But your main role of the heavy is the shields for sure. Either the dome or the like the overwatch shield. What's his name? Reinhardt, something like that. His shield thing. Both of those are really good, whichever one you want to use. They also have the sledgehammer, which you could use to collapse building but i would stray more towards a gun and just suppressing fire especially if you're newer i wouldn't worry too much about 
making flank holes of your like fucking rainbow six siege i'd focus on the lmg to suppress the enemy while your teammates get the kills and then keeping the shields up to keep your teams in the fight next up i want to go over the reserves really really quick it's pretty simple but i've seen a lot of questions on like twitter and youtube and whatnot of how to use it for starters and what you should be using so to use it whenever you die you'll have your reserve slot right there i'll have it up on the screen and you can pick an item from your reserve to switch or whatever item you currently have equipped pretty self-explanatory once you see it it's just a lot of people miss it because there's so much fucking going on uh for your reserves i would suggest one weapon that's the opposite of whatever you're using me example i'm a light main i use the smg the xp 54 or whatever the fuck it's called i use that but i keep the lh1 the little single fire rifle just in case it's more of a long range fight i feel like the sniper. i'm not good enough with a sniper to use that if you're a really crack shot use the sniper as a secondary but i prefer the lh1 just in case it for whatever reason like the point we're trying to attack is out in the open like that one moving train point if you know it you know it that one's really hard to break into but the lh1 you can kind of just melt them from a distance and then hopefully that works out and then other than that i just keep whatever gadgets you might need to counter so my primary gadgets i use when i'm playing light i have the stun grenade or the stun gun whatever the fuck it's called the glitch grenade and the gas grenade but i keep the pyro the flame as in my reserves just in case there's a lot of enemy teams using poison and goo i can just pull out the pyro so i can start melting goo and dispersing the pyro the gas i also keep a smoke in my secondary in case they're using a lot of fire i can still the smokes to put out the fire so on and so forth so all my gadgets in my reserve are just for countering whatever i'm not currently countering so i can just switch it up mid game if need be next up i just wanted to go over some like general gameplay tips if you're just struggling um one i don't see a lot of people using a lot of halo players will know exactly what i'm talking about there's pretty much flag juggling from halo if you don't know what that is when you pick up the cash box and you're moving like point a b or c wherever you're going to deposit if you click your shoot button whatever that is for your controls you'll throw the box and then you won't be at that reduced movement speed so right now when you pick up the box you're moving at like 70 percent speed something like that you're not at 100 percent if you click your shoot button you'll throw the box way ahead of you and then you can spread 100 percent you'll just be moving way quicker towards that objective super useful especially when you know the enemy teams are dead or currently fighting each other in another area you can just quickly get over to wherever your objective's at um if you ever seen flag juggling in halo it's exactly the same as that and then to go with that whenever you're near the cash point if it's in your sight lines the little vault you put the box into you don't actually have to walk up and put the box in it you can just click your shoot button and throw the box straight at it and it'll suck into it it's magnetized so as long as you're lined up, it's in your line of sight, you can like, have a clear vision of it, you can throw it straight into it. So that's pretty useful in case you don't, if there's a team right behind you and you want to get in the fight, you can throw the box straight in it to start the counter going down, you can turn around and fight. You don't actually have to run all the way to the vault to start the box. Man, the words are getting confusing. <laughs> Following that, I just wanted to make it clear what uh, gadgets counter what gadgets in case I breezed over it too fast. If there's poison on the ground and you throw the fire grenade at it, it gets rid of the poison instantly. There'll still be fire there, but all that poison will be gone. The fire is much easier to dodge than the poison. The fire sticks more ground level where the poison spreads up and around, if that makes sense. So that's useful. Same with the goo grenades, glue grenades, whatever you call them. You can burn those to the ground with the fire, just throw it at it, they'll melt to the ground. And then to counter the fire, use the smoke grenades, you throw the smoke at it, it distinguishes the fire. The smoke will still be there, but it's relatively easy to see through. So it's also much less annoying to deal with than fire. So that's pretty useful. Following that, I just wanted to talk about a couple hard counters in case there's a certain class that's messing with you that match or whatever, and just in general against your play style. So for me, the hardest thing that took me to deal with is the heavy shields. They're fucking annoying to deal with. Glitch grenade and the light class counters it perfectly. The medium has a counter too. I just can't remember the name. Just read the description. I'm sure you'll find it. But every class does have a counter. And then like I know a lot of people get annoyed with the cloaking thing. The lights have the invisibility. Um, there's a heat seeker gadget you can, or a heat sensor gadget you can get. You have to stand still when you use it, but you'll be able to see them coming. So that's pretty useful. There's also motion detectors. So I'll kind of ping where he's at so you get the general idea. So most abilities have some type of hard counter in your gadget so whenever you pick whatever your main class is going to be make sure you go through read every gadget figure out what hard counters what and that way you can prioritize what you buy as you go through i made the mistake of just buying every single gun off the rip fortunately i have more time to play than most people so i was able to get the rest of the gadgets relatively quickly but if you're not able to play all the time like i am 
definitely read through all the hard counters and pick what you want to get in order instead of just buying everything willy-nilly like I, I started off with like the sword or something stupid just because like, well that's cool don't do that pick what makes the most sense first and then go down in order from that and try and main just one class until you're really comfortable with it or you know you hate it you know what i mean like test them all out i tested them all i thought i was gonna be a medium main turned out i'm a light main so i've been living the light life but yeah everybody has their own class prioritize that class and then prioritize the gadgets in order from what makes the most sense for your play style to what makes the least sense the last two tips are pretty basic tips but i see them overlooked a lot in my gameplay first off it's a super long time to kill in this game especially if you're fighting like a heavy they have a lot of health so make sure you're strafing in this game. All my Halo players already know what to do. But for those of you who don't know to strafe for it, because it's not like COD. COD, you can kind of just beam people and you'll be fine. It's more like Halo's play style when it, bleh, when it comes to time to kill. So you need to be strafing, which all that means is instead of standing still or just running straight, you're bobbing to the left, bobbing to the right, crouching every once in a while, jumping every once in a while. Whatever you need to do to keep your, your body moving to make it harder for them to hit you while you're hitting them. Especially if you're a light against the heavy, movement is your only option to win that fight. So definitely make sure you're strafing. And then following that, there's a lot of pickups around the map and then everything is destructible. So starting with the pickups, if you're defending a point, there's usually a whole bunch of gas canisters all around. You can be picking up and just cutting off access points or at the very least making them burn their pyro grenades. Just from throwing those everywhere, there's smoke canisters everywhere, there's glue or goo, whatever the fuck you want to call it, canisters everywhere. So there's a lot of canisters everywhere. And then with the fire canister, the explosive one, um, there is a delay when you throw it. So if you threw it at a wall right in front of you, it wouldn't blow up right away to hit the wall and bounce a little and then blow up. To avoid that, if you melee the fire canister, instead of throwing it, it'll instantly start that fuse and then it'll have a much shorter time to explode, if that makes sense. So if you're f trying to blow up something close and you have the fire one, melee it, melee it you know fly straight into it and blow it up if you're trying to destroy something that's farther away then just do your normal throw with your shoot button that's pretty big in my opinion and just following that the collapsible buildings uh everything is destructible so if you're getting pinned if you're just running straight through like a hall or whatever to the objective and they're just fucking melting you the heavy's got you suppressed the lights popping in and out with his cloak and fucking you up go up on the roof blow holes going down go up behind blow holes and behind them go up you can go below the objective, blow up the floor on the objective, and have the objective fall to you. There's a lot of options, and um, I think just with the game being so new, people aren't realizing how many options there are. So make sure if you are getting fucked up in this the straight 3v3 fight, take a second and think about how you can be flanking that in a way they wouldn't predict, because there's a lot of unpredictability with how destructible everything is. But yeah, that's all my beginner tips. Hopefully you found something useful in this. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. I upload the finals three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So if you're enjoying it, hit that like button, subscribe, come watch some gameplay, all that good shit. Hope you all have a good night. I'll catch you all next time. What's up, gamers? Nobles in here. I just wanted to say I appreciate y'all watching the video. If you're enjoying it, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I also drop new content every single day. So if you're really enjoying it, maybe consider becoming a member. With all that out of the way, I hope you all have a good night. I'll catch you all next time.